it's a question that one is asked quite often. I think it's it's been going so long. It's a rather simplistic answer. I think it's probably something to do with the fact it's only 15 minutes. Because people have just got time to drive back from the station or if they've been out to the supermarket and they're unpacking the shopping. That 15 minutes doesn't interrupt their lives to such an extent that they've got to make a special effort to listen to it. Half an hour is a commitment. 15 minutes can be slotted in. And then, of course, those on a Sunday that want to hear it in the full whack can do so. I also think it's got something, the pace of it. People like the pace. It isn't frantic very often, whereas television soap operas are constantly frantic. Have to be. The pictures have to follow one another in a great haste, otherwise people turn it off. I don't think very like him at all. I, I'm, not as, <laughs> I'm not as wealthy as he is. Um, he has been serially unfaithful, which has allowed me to remain totally faithful to my gorgeous wife, Judy, who, of course, plays Shula. Um, and uh, the only thing we have in common was that we went to the same school, um, Sherburn School in Dorset, and uh, as did Adam. Um, but I can't really think of any other, other trait I have. The only thing I do like is because I am quite light-hearted and because I have got a sort of slightly naughty sense of humour is over the years the writers have caught that and they certainly now write me some really sort of quirky funny lines and slightly sarky lines of people like Kate you know whether she's going to get a job or do anything or Jennifer's Kitchen I think Brian, Brian's quite quick to come in with a with a what I find when I read the scripts an amusing line and I think well I know what they're doing and they're basing that a bit on me but apart from that I hope I'm not really like The Archies are completely real to lots of people. They are. Well, you know that, perhaps. So real, in a moment you're going to hear the sound of horses going by. What could be more ambridge than that? I think it's probably Shula out exercising the horses, don't you? Yes, probably. Yes. Come on, Shula, love. I'm trying to do something to camera. Do you think the Archies will continue to be relevant for another 50 or 60 years? I wonder whether that question was asked 50 years ago or 40 years ago. I bet it's been asked every 10 years. And who's... You tell me, Abby, who you know who'd be brave enough to take it off. I mean, it, it would... I mean, goodness me, we only have to change the, the time of it by five minutes and there are questions in Parliament. The thought of taking it off... And while it's got... I mean, to be serious... It's all about ratings. While we have this massive audience, much bigger than any, any other drama on radio, <laughs> arguably bigger than most dramas on television, they end up going to touch it. Uh, so, sitting here, 50 years' time, even you might not know. Uh, I certainly won't. But, as far as I'm concerned, when people say, would I like to, how long do I want to go on playing Brian? until I, Charles Collingwood, am carried out in a box, quite frankly. And considering we've got Peggy, played by June Spencer, who's 96, I'm keeping my fingers crossed.